Hello, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. Today is Tuesday, June the 14th. Happy Flag Day to the U, those of you in the U.S. And we also celebrate today Basil the Great. Basil was born about 329 in Caesarea of Cappadocia into a Christian family of wealth and distinction. Educated in classical Hellenism, Basil might have continued in academic life had it not been for the death of a beloved younger brother and the faith of his sister, Macrina. He was baptized at the age of 28 and ordained a deacon soon after. Macrina had founded the first monastic order for women at Amnesi. Fired by her example, Basil made a journey to study the life of the anchorites in Egypt and elsewhere. In 358, he returned to Cappadocia and founded the first monastery for men at Ebora. Assisted by Gregory Nazianzus, he compiled the longer and shorter rules, which transformed the solitary anchorites into a disciplined community of prayer and work. The rules became the foundation for all Eastern monastic discipline. The monasteries also provided schools to train leaders for church and state. Basil was ordained presbyter in 364 in the conflict between the Arians, supported by an Arian emperor, and Orthodox Christians. Basil became convinced that he should be made bishop of Caesarea by a narrow margin, he was elected Bishop of Caesarea, Metropolitan of Cappadocia, and Exarch of Pontus. He was relentless in his efforts to restore the faith and discipline of the clergy, and in defense of the Nicene faith. When the Emperor Valens sought to undercut Basil's power by dividing the Sea of Cappadocia, Basil forced his brother Gregory to become Bishop of Nyssa. In his treatise <clears throat> on the Holy Spirit, Basil maintained that both the language of the Scripture and the faith of the Church require that the same honor, glory, and worship is paid to the Holy Spirit as to the Father and the Son. It was entirely proper, he asserted, to adore God in liturgical prayer, not only with the traditional words, glory to the Father through the Son in the Holy Spirit, but also with the formula glory to the Father with the Son, together with the Holy Spirit. Basil was also concerned about the poor, and when he died, he willed to Caesarea a complete new town built on his estate, with housing, a hospital, and staff, a church for the poor, and a hospice for travelers. He died at the age of 50 in 379, just two years before the Second Ecumenical Council, which affirmed the Nicene faith. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have revealed to your church your eternal being of glorious majesty and perfect love as one God, in trinity of persons. Give us grace that, like your Bishop Basil of Caesarea, we may continue steadfast in the confession of faith and constant in our worship of you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, for you live and reign now and forever. Amen.